Hello guys, I am I am Yashwant. I am from Andhra Pradesh. Currently, I am pursuing computer science degree from IIT Indore in third year. And coming to my IIT journey, I started my preparation from eighth class itself, and I secured A two five five two in first attempt of JE Advanced, and I choose computer science in IIT Indore. The reason why I choose IIT Indore is like I got electrical engineering in IIT Madras and Delhi, but I always give preference to branch, and I heard that so many of my relatives said that. Computer science will be having more scope in future than other branches. So at the same time, IIT Indore is a second generation college which is evolving, and coding culture in IIT Indore is very nice. So I choose IIT Indore over electrical engineering in other colleges. Hmm. So the main motivation. Um, Like when I'm in eighth class, my uh, we don't even have idea about what is JE advanced and JE mains, but we know that to read such as at that time one of the greatest ways to choose JE because uh, at like uh, when I'm in eighth class, so many newspapers are showing the ranks of these IIT toppers, and I got inspired by them. And as I'm from a middle class family, it's common for every. Boy in middle class family to dream to become rich to become highly educated. So I thought JE Advanced will be my right path to choose. Actually, I joined coaching institute in eighth class itself because first I tried to start preparation from by myself, but I thought it will be helpful if I have some coaching along. So I joined some coaching institution in from eighth class. so um, until eighth class i only have like very basics like what is physics what is chemistry that's it but when i started learning this iit syllabus i encountered so many situations like so many of my friends knew or so many things compared to me they are much advanced than me and i really faced so much problem in keeping on par with them like knowing topics learning topics from different sources and it took me a lot of time to get on par with those students uh i would say ncert is not the yeah ncert is very important but i would say in city ncert is not the only important thing like ncert provides you basics uh for coming to chemistry ncert is the perfect book to refer coming to iit je mains and advanced because chemistry in Mains and advanced are completely based on NCERT syllabus itself. But if you come to maths and physics, uh, NCERT just contains basics, and I think NCERT is not enough for maths and physics. We have to refer some reference materials. Luckily, I have a very good faculty for physics, and yeah, physics is a very tricky subject because there are some formulas in physics. Such that we can apply those formulas in only some situations, and if you come across different situation, there will be different formula. So it's better not to uh, mug up formulas. I think it's better to get some practical knowledge on physics. And coming to re uh, resources, I think there are so, so many books like Ari Hand, uh, like on HCI or my it's it's one of the most important thing thing that every IIT JE aspirant refers for physics. HCI or my is completely excellent and. we can get almost 90% of our basics from hc verma and if we practice those questions in hc verma like we can excel in physics i think you can score 60 to 70% in je mains uh yeah unfortunately maths don't have some particular reference book because uh like there are three to four books uh, one of that one of that books is uh, rd sharma i think rd sharma and some ari hand books and coming to maths it's uh, very important to refer previous year questions because uh, in most of the mains questions and advanced questions questions may not repeat exactly but the model in previous year questions may get repeated so i think for maths it's more important to refer to the previous year questions and stick to the basics and practice a lot like we should not go for a single reference book coming to maths because 
single if single book doesn't contain entire syllabus so i think it's better to like it better to stick to some like uh, some books are good for some chapters only coming to rsa world it's good for just two or three chapters and rd sharma it's good for another two three chapters like don't okay. stick for a single book choose chapters from the books yeah chemistry is a very big challenge for any aspirant because maths and physics are something like if you practice then you will get but chemistry is not like that how many times you practice you will definitely forget it and organic chemistry is somewhat logical because it contains some reactions which we can get by practice but inorganic and physical are something like we have to keep on revising them multiple times mainly before examination i think you have to revise chemistry entire chemistry ncert at least two times so physical chemistry and inorganic chemistry you have to keep on revising because there are so many things that you have to remember there are so many exceptions in inorganic chemistry so we can face this challenge by revising multiple times before the exam if you if we compare uh, previous year advanced papers and advanced papers we will we will find rarely questions based on only single topic because the question makers always wants us to interconnect the topics so we have to get knowledge on the topics and how to interconnect them and these we can get by practicing a lot because mugging up problems in physics uh, like these topics is very like it's not a good thing we have to get we have to get a grip on the concept so when we get grip on the concept we can be able to solve the problems that interconnects multiple topics yeah, during my preparation per day i uh, i nearly spent 8 9 hours a day on je preparation and uh, i equally divided the time among three subjects i nearly gave 2 hours for each subject and one hour for each subject for revising the day's topic like uh, every day we used to have a class for 2 hours for each subject and another one more hour we will be having a study hour to revise the things and ask doubts it doesn't mean that if you study for long time you will clear je it means that if even though you study for less number of hours if you study perfectly then i think 8 8 hours is more than enough if you can spend uh, perfect time of 8 hours per day like you make perfect use of 8 hours per day then you can easily clear the j advanced in first attempt actually yeah during j preparation we will be under we will be undergoing a lot of stress because we had to remember so many things and at the same time we will be writing so many exams and results of those exams keeps us a lot of stress and when we compare ourselves to our peers we will be under stress so under these stress times i think music and sports play a lot of important role in personal and physical life of a student so uh, during my preparation i used to go for a walk and play cricket to reduce my stress the constant thing in my mind is to get into good iit and that's the motivation because year to year uh, faces of toppers keep on coming on newspapers and your relatives keep on asking so that's kind of motivation and you should uh, uh, yeah of course we have lot of syllabus in maths physics chemistry the only thing we can do is we should constantly keep on practicing because consistency is very important in these kind of exams which are having lot of syllabus so it's not like uh, you study for one day and take a break for one day and then again study for one day no it's not like that even though you spend uh, to uh, eight or nine hours per day but you have to spend every day eight or nine hours i think this consistency is the key to reach success in je advance and at the same time of course it, there will be highs and lows in this preparations sometimes you may get high marks sometimes you may get low marks but you should always keep your motivation high like uh, my aim is to get iit some day i'll definitely reach iit so my aim is to get good marks in the final exam not this exam so whatever exams i run i right now is just to assess myself of the topics that's it so you should not get depressed when you get low marks and you should not get very highly happy when you get good marks you should maintain your calmness and keep on practicing
for JE mains, yeah, JE mains is relatively uh, easier when compared to JE advanced. And I think uh, an average student can crack JE mains with self preparation. So as I said, for chemistry, NCRT is perfectly enough. And coming to maths and physics, I think we had to, of course, uh, like while doing self preparation, we should have someone to clarify our doubts because. If we struck on one topic, then we can't move forward for other topics because topics will be interlinked. So when you are studying by self, I think you should have at least one resource to clear your doubts. These days we can, we have internet access to almost everyone. I'm not saying for everyone, almost for everyone. So I think internet is good source. And if you don't have access to internet, you can consult your friends in case you have doubt. So I, sometimes I regret for the mistakes I did. So one of the main uh, biggest mistake I did was, so when I started preparation, we used to have a exam uh, monthly ones. What I did was I mainly concentrated on the monthly exam. Like I studied hardly, I studied very hard for one month to write that exam. And after that exam, I completely forgot, forget the things I learned. And now I uh, concentrate on the next month. So the thing is, you should not forget the things that you have learned previously. You should keep in that mind at the same time, prepare, prepare for the next month. So this is the biggest mistake I had, which I had done because in the final exam, we have entire syllabus. We don't have chunks of syllabus. We have entire syllabus. So from the starting, you should have grasp on all the topics. You should not neglect some topics just because we don't have any exam on that. I think uh, it's uh, recommended to start from 11th standard. No need to start too early from eighth class because it will take away our child childhood. So it's better if you start from 11th class and it will be much better if you start from 10th itself. So at max you can start from 10th, no need from ninth or eighth, or you can start from 10th itself. So since you are saying your uh, exams are three months away from you, uh, so at this time you should have completed the revision at least once. Like you had to cover all the topics in the in all the subjects, math, physics, chemistry, and so we, we have three months in our hand. Uh, we can do one thing uh, for the first two months. We can revise the entire syllabus one more time because revision plays important role before the exam. And chemistry, the main thing is you had to revise. Chemistry chemistry more and more. So you can revise chemistry twice and mass and physics, it's okay to just revise once. So we had to complete these things in one month. So coming to the last month, which is just one month before the exam, uh, you don't need to revise everything. The only thing you need to is, is to develop your, is to increase your speedness and accuracy. So you can get only this by practicing. Uh, we can do like, uh, we can fix a time stop clock of three hours and start writing examination. And after three hours, we can check our answers. This gives, this improves your accuracy and speed. So practicing just before one month of the exam helps us a lot to cope up with the stress and pressure during examination. And at the same time, it's important to look at the previous year questions because we can get idea of how the examiner is thinking, what examiner wants from us. So yeah, as I said, uh, you no need to cover extra topics in the last month, just a month before advanced exam or main exam. You no need to cover extra topics because until now you have learned a lot of things. The only thing you have to do now is to just remind things and just practice. Uh, the main thing is, as I said, you have to practice the previous year question papers so that you can you will get idea of what examiner wants us to write and how his thinking level is. And it's common for every aspirant to feel stress and pressure during some days before examination. But it's okay because it's important phase in our life and we have to cope up with the pressure. And just, there's something the examiner wants us because like if you, if, if we can, if we are given advanced paper to solve in one day, we'll solve almost all the questions correctly. But that's not what he wants. He wants us to solve the paper in three hours. So speed and accuracy and the way you handle your pressure is something that matters. 
so it's important to handle stress and pressure in the last 30 days and it's also important to practice the questions you know really unfortunately many of the students are from middle class and poor class families and yeah. even i am such a student from middle class family my father is a teacher and my mother, my mother is a housewife and i know the difficulties is a student faces when he don't have enough resources to study so i always believe in one thing like education is the only thing that takes us away from poverty so don't get discouraged if you don't have enough resources don't get discouraged if you don't have good books and good coaching institute the only thing you should have is to intention to learn the perseverance and de dedication to crack a good rank and get into good iit or get into good college Yeah, after cracking JEE advance, I kept a lot of expectations in IIT, and when I came to IIT Indore, uh, I think all my expectations are uh, exactly correct because ours is a very beautiful campus, and whatever the things I dreamed of when I'm in twelfth or eleventh standard, I'm getting everything here. Like we don't have any wardens here, and we have completely freedom to play whenever we want, to play any game we want, and to go outside and to eat anything we want. so whatever the expectations i kept and whatever the things i was compromised in 11th and 12th standard like we don't use to have enough sleep during preparation and now we we'll, we have plenty of time to sleep and at the same time during preparation we don't have, use it to have uh, enough amount of nutrients food but now we are getting enough amount of nutrients and food so i think it's worth to sacrifice some things for this college life Yeah, actually, these are misconceptions. Like we can see in so many movies, seniors, uh, like seniors rag juniors. But these are misconceptions because in good IITs and NITs are good colleges. They have good student culture in the in the college. So seniors are ready to help their juniors. They are ready to guide their juniors, like which path to choose, which resource to choose for the, for some particular topic. So it's not uh, what is depicted in movies. coming to real life seniors are very good and they guide us mentally and physically they help us a lot in learning topics they help us a lot in getting placements and they help us a lot even in sports yeah uh, i used to wake up at um, 6 o'clock in the morning and from 6 to 8 o'clock uh, i completed my breakfast and bathing so our classes used to start at 8 am in the morning so from 8 to 12 we used to have two classes in the span of 2 hours 2 to 2 hours so from 12 to 2 pm it's a lunch break and we we took our lunch from 12 to 1 and from 1 to 2 we used to take rest because uh, it's very hot for a human to continuously study for 8 or 9 hours so we so we should have some break to re to get our energy back so we used to have a sleep for 1 hour from 1 to 2 and again we used to start from 2 to 5 and from 5 to 6 we used to have some sports break or snacks break we used to play some games from 2 to 6 and from 6 to 9 we will will be having study hours to revise the things which we have learned in the class morning and at 9 o'clock we used to have dinner and then we will be going to rooms so yeah for now uh, j uh, there are so many j aspirants because day by day competition is increasing um, it's common for many aspirants to be having negative thoughts in their mind like can i uh, will i clear this iit will i get into iit or uh, can i get into, can i get into some nit it's okay it's okay if you get into iit it's okay if you get into nit it's okay even though if you not get into iit or some nit so the main thing it matters is do whatever you can do like as said in bhagavad gita only we can only do what we do and the result depends on the god so give your complete efforts and don't expect anything so everything that happens will be good so don't take much, too much pressure and don't get any kind of negative thoughts just keep on working and working and finally you'll definitely get a good result